So, I want to put it in the Z. This is a really solid pizza. But, it's going to go in, in and out with the Z using this thing in my barber here. Like 40 times. I don't have engine mounts yet. I haven't ordered any yet. They make universal ones. They make, uh, I'm going to try to get a pair of R31 ones that go into R31s. It's very similar on how the Z32 stock ones are. So maybe we'll try those, get some bushings or hard mounted. I don't know yet. Again, money, right? Um, so in order to do that, it's going to go up and down, up and down, up and down a lot. A lot, a lot. Uh, but it's part of it. I want to put it in the Z tomorrow. It's 11.30 right now. I don't know. Again, got off work. I'm just a dude. And I don't want it to be catching on anything. So what we're going to do is all these lovely accessories. Also, C4s. You should sponsor me. I drink too many of these. Or I drink just enough. But you should do it. Don't sleep on orange slice, great flavor. But that means I want to take the AC compressor off. I want to take the power steering off and I want to take the alternator off just so it's a lot easier going in and out. I most likely will also be taking off the, if I can move it, one hand, my pizza hand. Take off this big old plastic intake here um, just so I can get it in and out of the car a whole lot easier and not be a pain in the ass, not getting it caught up on anything. Because like I said already, it is 32 inches long. And the Z Zany bed is like 33 and a half. I'll confirm tomorrow with future me. I'll show all the measurements and whatnot. Just so we can get an idea. And also the other concern of I chose rear sum for a reason. Car is stock rear sum. I gotta make sure it clears the subframe and the steering rack. I don't think it's going to clear steering. And a lot of people, they've cut it and then moved it or expanded it or shortened it. As long as the pickup's fine and you, you tie them in together. Yeah, but we're here. And we're going to start taking all this stuff off. Find out what bolts it is and all that jazz. I may leave the AC compressor on only because that's what the strap is currently connected to to lift this bad boy out of here. But everything else will be coming off. I'm gonna take off this little cover here. You guys are very far away. So let me actually grab you guys, bring you over. This guy. Eventually I'll get one that won't say Ford on it. Mainly because I just don't like how the symbol looks. I don't want to... May say nothing, may say something, may get carbon fiber, may do a custom one, maybe shave it. I don't know yet. But get all these torque sticks out. Eventually we'll change it to something else because I'm not a fan of torque sticks. And we're gonna pull each and every single of these lovely six spark plugs and just see what they look like and then maybe i'll kind of just look down the cylinder i don't have a little camera thing in my bobber that'll stick down there and tell me but just so i can visually see it i did already move the oil cap so it was like australian here uh but move this see what we're working with uh see how the spark plugs look kind of tell the health of the motor yes like i said hundred ninety eight thousand ish uh kilometers of an automatic so in my eyes very healthy big moment of truth here bring you guys with it as we lift this cover off nice and gently for the first time and there we go the iconic ford barrow without the ford part we'll set this to the side here now just quick overlook it's all like surface rust and grime and whatnot um it's dirty as you would expect it is a nice used motor, 
But we'll count together. We got the one, the two, the three, the four, the five, and the six. It's fucking awesome. I do love the cover on it. It's nice and smooth, but without the cover, it's just such a raw-looking motor, especially when it's not covered by this fucking seatbelt. It just looks so mean and aggressive. Put this cap on before I accidentally toss some stuff in there. If it wants to work, we'll see, we'll see. There we go. You got 710. But yeah, let's start cranking these guys out, pulling the plugs, and see what we got. I get to use the Z32's best tool ever. If you own a Z32, you own any 300ZX, even the Z31's, I'm sure this tool would be helpful mainly with all the hoses and whatnot. Um, this pair of pliers from Harbor Freight has lasted me two years and many, many projects, but mainly Z's. And it is, where the fuck my bag is? These angled little guys. BC put me onto this as well. Lovely little just burp, 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 burp. For any little hoses that are hard to reach in the you know, intake area, underneath the motor, the EGR especially, on a 3 x You know, you know. But also, they're great for reaching down in these holes. Watch it not work. But, reach it down in here. If my spark plug thing doesn't want to grab it. And just gently pulling out these awesome little NGKs here. And for such a big motor, it's such a small spark plug. The Z1s are way bigger. Um, but... It looks super healthy on cylinder one. I'll lay them all out cylinder one through cylinder six so we can kind of compare each of them to each other. Hopefully, if I'm wrong, I'm an idiot, which I am. You guys will correct me in the comments. But we got everything. Ignore that. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. So, starting from the front, it's looking real nice. There's no oil on any of these either. Moving through all of them. I'm super happy with how they're looking. Because I've definitely seen worse. And this looks super awesome and healthy. On the Z. Um, we have this lovely big suffering. We get, we're going to ignore this, uh, this powered steering. We're going to reroute that. We might be able to use this one, but... Most likely to get some custom lines. Um, the steering rack sits a whole lot higher than the subframe. So, as far back as I can put this, most likely the first thing I'm going to hit, and we'll see some witness marks, is this guy right here, the steering rack. Which is why it's going to make the motor sit so tall. So, most likely, we'll try to add some spacers in here and then modify the sump. I really do want to sit as low as I can. out of the way for us real quick.
I should clear it. Alright. What did we hit first? My blocks on wood, okay. No problem. on that, go up one pump, there we go, it doesn't want to keep going but it's gonna, so the only thing stopping it from going in right now, is these heater core lines. So temporarily, I'm just gonna take them off. It's just a couple bolts. And then we're gonna try to slide it right back in. I'm not gonna admit how long that took to get these two heater core lines off, but fuck it, we ball. They're off, they're over there. Time for test fit number two. Into here. That sounded pretty good. Now we're hitting where I thought I'd hit. So I'm gonna take a, I need to get past my brake heat shielding here. So it's a couple 10 mils. I'm gonna zap those off for us real quick. These are kind of just like you, you break them loose so you can get them off with your fingers. Makes it nice and easy. This guy, oh, this one's already finger loose, hell yeah. Caught it, hell yeah. Now I need to go up so I can actually pull this thing off here. Shouldn't be caught on anything else or catch on anything else. Okay, unfortunately, this is the best test fit we're gonna get. I know it's ugly. Um, using the seatbelt I came with, I definitely need to get one of the adjusters so I can get to sit level. But as soon as I lower it, it immediately bottoms out on the back here because the sump, like we thought was gonna hit the steering rack. So, like most people modify them, I'm most definitely gonna probably have to cut here, across, and then probably just move this guy back to here-ish. If I want more room, maybe, maybe maybe a little bit farther here. But most likely just cut this, take out a little chunk, and just move all this back and get a plate welded there. So I definitely will have to find a guy that knows how to weld aluminum, because I cannot. But besides that, Ignore the fact that it's crooked and on cherry picker. That's a big boy. I will say, um, once it sits properly in here, uh, this will be right about here, actually. Once it's sitting, uh, you know, with the back. So I have I have some room here for the, the stock wiring harness and other jazz. I do love that it's all one belt drive. It's fucking great. Makes it easy and it's all flush. So besides that, I have all the room of the front, and then the bumper goes even farther, of course, for my radiator, my intercooler, my piping, all that jazz. But yeah, this is the best we get. Um, I'm going to slap on an engine stand and start tearing into it a little bit.
It's on this engine stand. 